hello friends welcome in today's tutorial we are going to see how do we create a circular process flow diagram as you see in my screen we have a circular process flow diagram over here uh, starting from 1 2 3 4 5 6 so if you want to uh, show a six step process this is how you can use this diagram and on the right hand side we have given enough space if you want to add some more details about those steps one two three or different stages of the process and then as i always say there has to be a conclusive message at the bottom so you can see there is a message at the bottom it's a it's a placeholder you can change your message okay now let's discuss if you have this slide available with you in what all context you can use so it's a completely editable slide and i have put this into a share path link is given in the description section you can download from there now let's understand if we have this circular process flow diagram in what all context we can use it okay so i'll take three examples here there could be other possibilities also so let's say you are creating a product okay or are you, you are building a solution and that solution you tried something initially so that can be considered as point number one over here and you tried something then you did something on top of that so it's an evolving product or evolving application right then you tried something else so if you want to show that something have been innovated over the period something have been evolved over the period it could be an application it could be a solution so it's a perfect slide for that you can start from one and you can move from one two three four five six and you can show to your audience that your product or solution got evolved over the period right and you can just add some some brief about that feature or the unique thing which got developed over here so that's a placeholder here uh, and then on the right hand side you have enough space to add a commentary about it so perfect scenario the second scenario the second scenario could be that uh, you know uh, you you're creating a process uh, defining a process and where you want to show that this is this is my process which but in the step one i do something like this in the step two i do something like this three four five and six so it's very obvious if you want to draw something from process perspective you can use this diagram okay third thing let's say you have an application okay which has a n number of features again we'll see how we create this slide uh, uh, very soon but let's say you have an application which has multiple features to it and you want to tell to your audience that this is the application and these are the many features as part of that application so that's another way you can use this uh, slide so three ways we said one you building some product which is a evolving product this slide can be used if you want to use for a process flow diagram this can be used if you want to tell that there is an application there is a product which has n number of features let's say six features and you want to depict those features those uniqueness of that product what are those uh, unique feature in that application you can use this slide we have enough space on the right hand side where you can add a commentary and do not forget to add a conclusive message at the bottom this is how you can use this slide there is another version of this slide with some minor changes and then there is one more version but i have just added a circular process flow diagram in the center and then you have enough spaces to add your commentary for respective stages so all these three slides are completely editable slides I have put them in a share path. Link is given in the description section. You can download from there. So let's see if you want to create this slide from the scratch, then how we do it. So let me go to a blank slide. We'll try to do it. It's a very simple slide. You can very quickly do it. Some adjustment might take more time, but from creation perspective, it's very simple slide. So let's start. So here is a blank slide and I have put some color agent here. So let's start. First, let me go to insert. Uh, go to shapes and take this uh, shape circle hollow okay press a shift key and just draw it then go to shape outline and say no outline and if you see under shape format i can adjust the size so let's say i take 11 as length and width both okay so here is our circle now again go to insert shapes and take another shape this one chevron okay so let's say i take this shape and say shape outline no outline just adjust this shape something like this increase the length now take a different color here so let's say 
you can take any color let's say i take this color okay now place it here something like this okay now i want to draw six stage process so i'm going to create six uh, uh, you know spaces in between uh, that's how the shape will be created eventually so let me copy it one more time and put it over here and then say rotate flip horizontal now let me copy it one more time over here it depends how many stages of process you want to define accordingly you can decide how many stopper or how many shape you want to place in between of this circle okay i am creating a six stage process so i will be creating this accordingly do a control d and uh, this is a tricky part you have to adjust these uh, these uh, shapes to have some uniform distribution so let me do some adjustment here it will take a little bit time but that's the only tricky part on this uh, this slide okay now let me move it a little bit okay now copy it one more time and place it here let's say this way do control d one more time and we should be good from here now you can just adjust the spacing so that we have some uniform space between these uh, shapes okay this looks okay now just select all of them okay just select all of them and go to shape format under merge shapes click on fragment okay after clicking on fragment just do a shape fill take some other color let's say i take this color okay now click outside now i'm going to delete all these section one by one so let me delete first the center piece of it okay then let me delete this then this one so just delete all these shapes here so that you get a required shape what i am trying to draw here so this is how i get my diagram now i'll just choose a different color so i have put some color legend here let me take these colors one by one so for this one go to shape fill go to eyedropper and let's take this color now i want to try a gradient fill here so go to gradient fill okay and uh, so you can choose the same color and one of the color you have to make it dark so for example this one this is a dark color and uh, something like this just do some adjustment here okay this is good now up to you if you want to put some shape effect so let's say i want to give some shape effect of something like this so you see a shape effect here we can do that and if you don't want that that's also perfectly fine so the other slide which i have put here has that uh, shape effect for now i'm just not taking this save effect okay all right i did some control z okay now go here and put another color here from eyedropper let's say this color go to gradient fill and uh, change the color so for this one also first you take the color and then i'll choose a darker color so first make the same color so i have a same color now now for this uh, stopper i am going to use a darker color so go to more color and choose a darker color like this okay now you have to adjust the direction so choose a direction here is a tricky part so let's say if i take this one now this one this one see so that's how you have to choose a direction and you can adjust it based on what kind of color you are looking forward so similarly i am going to put a color for all of them one by one so let's do for this one uh, i need a gradient fill okay and for this one i need this color and for this also i need this color and now for this one i am going to use a darker color so let's first let me put this one now for this stopper i am going to choose a darker color through more color so go to more color and let's take a darker color okay now go to this shape say gradient fill and change the color 
so go to eyedropper take this color for this as well take to this color and then let's take for this one i am going to take some uh, lighter color for this one so just go to above something like this now change the direction so you have to try so this one is good or i think this is going to be this one okay now try this one again go to gradient fill let me do it real quick choose the color from eyedropper and choose the color and for this one take a darker color now the last one is gradient fill choose the color this one for this also let's take this color and this one i want a darker color so go to more color and pick a darker color so now your shape is ready more or less your slide is ready now let's finish it up go to insert and go to icons and from here you can choose some icon so let's say i want to use a uh, icon as bulb this one go to insert and place it here okay now let me put some numbering here so go to insert and text box type one here and for this video i'm going to take font as agency fb increase the size and place it here so let's say one and i'm going to take a white font then duplicate it Control d and say 2 then 3 for, for this video i have created a process flow diagram of uh, six stages you can change it if you have eight or five or four accordingly you can change your shape okay so you have one two three four five and six that's how you can create it now let me put a text here so insert text box enter your text here and let me use the same font okay and let me place them over here you can place them wherever you feel is, is appropriate so let's say i'm placing them here okay now let's put your text here and uh, take a white font similarly just do a control d and you can it's a sample text you while you're creating your slide you can put your own text here i'm just duplicating it control d and placing it in all over here okay so now my shape is ready so one two three four five six it's a six stage process i have drawn you can draw an eight or five or seven whatever number you're looking for okay now select all of them and say control g so that it can be grouped now let me move it over here a little bit now go to insert and take shapes and the rectangle and draw it just take a length whatever length you want and the width say shape outline no outline and i want a shape fill as this one okay now control do a control d duplicate it reduce the size and take a shape fill as white and shape effect as this one okay offset bottom now you can see the effect is coming over here now select both of them and say align top okay and you can also say align left now you can adjust the size based on the requirement so i'm taking let's say this much size here type one Go to home, take a font as black, and again, same text as in CFB, and I can increase the size, let's say this one. Now go to insert, add a text box, and say enter your 
text here. This is my sample text. You can add your own text while you're creating this slide. And I'm going to take the same font as agency FB and going to place them over here. Okay. So now I am going to copy, select all of them and do a control G, which is grouping. And then I'm going to do control D, which is duplicate. So I'm, I'm going to place them here one by one. So six, and then I'm going to change the number as two, then three, four, five and six okay now select all of them and you can adjust them so go to shape format say align distribute vertically align left just to set the alignment okay now the last thing go to insert go to shape take this shape again one more time and place it here I can move it a little bit here. Go to shape outline, no outline, and you can take, let's say, black fill. So now your slide is ready. One more thing I can do, go to insert shape, and let's say you want to draw a rectangle, which is the outer rectangle, just place it outside. Say shape outline, no outline, shape fill as white, and shape effect as shadow, and this one and say send to back, right? This is how you can draw a sort of border. And the last thing I'm going to do is adding a, a place for the message at the bottom. So let me just go and quickly copy from here and I can put it here and then I can change the font as agency FB. Okay, now I don't need all these color. So let me remove them. Okay, and increase the size of this little bit. So now my slide is ready. Let me do a presentation mode. So here you see, uh, I have a title at the top. Then I have a circular process flow diagram. This is a six stage process I have defined. You can make it any number as you want. There is a place, enough place on the right hand side where you can add your commentary and do not forget to enter or give a messaging at the bottom. This is how you can create a circular process flow diagram. It's very simple to create it. It might take some time some to do some adjustment on the, on the, on the circle and bring the right shape. Otherwise, it's very, very easy slide and anyone can create it with a little bit of effort. Hope you got a good insight of uses. Uh, if you have such diagram of circular process flow diagram, what are the different ways you can use it? Let me reiterate one more time. You can use it to define a process. You can use it to show a product which got evolved over the period. You can show the slide to show a uniqueness of the application or unique feature of the application. There are many more ways you can use it. If you have any questions or query, please do send your feedback on the comment section and I will be more than happy to help you out there. Thank you very much for watching this video. I'll see you soon.